My name is uh, Obueshi Victor Amechi. Edozia is a uh, of Obogo village in Asaba. Uh, today is the first day of uh, the confirmation of my Olinzele chieftaincy title uh, in, uh, in Asagba's uh, palace here in Asaba. The first day of the week-long celebration it starts off with the Ima Nzu ceremony which starts at 1 p.m. this afternoon. So, uh, sir, how do you feel? Uh, I'm very, very happy, very excited. I'm supported by Odozia in what I'm doing. Uh, more importantly, I'm the first Olinzele in my family, the extended family, which makes me not just proud, but uh, fills me with a sense of responsibility to try and uh, set an example for future Olinzeles within the family. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank I you. Wish you success. Thank you very much. You. My name is um, Juliana A. Jaro. Mm. Is it good? Okay. Sir, How do you feel today concerning this honor that's you. about to be given to you and your husband? I feel um, happy and um, excited. Um, I feel happy that he's been conferred, you know, with the highest um, title in the land. And um, I'm happy he's going to help um, the people of Asaba and his own family. As he told you earlier on, he's the first time um, who lives from this um, family and extended family. So what are your prayers? My prayers is for him to lead by example and to make a good and great Olinzele. Thank you very much, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you.
the actual ceremony is about.
Tem que fazer isso, né? Não há nada que eu faça, não há nada que eu faça. Agora, por exemplo, não há nada que eu faça, 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 não há nada que eu faça. Nós somos um pouco afetados, mas não é tão complicado como nós. Só é um pouco duro aí. Não é? É o mais antigo. Não, o mais antigo. O mais antigo é o mais antigo. Não sei, não sei. Não sei que tal ele. Não sei. 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 Sim. 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 Sorry, <laughs> Coming to you, Father, with thanksgiving, praising you for keeping us alive all through, and joyfully bringing us to fellowship with ourselves and with our new brother, our new only to to be, Professor Ezebu. Father, I have a blessed gathering with your peace, conviviality. Bless us also with your love, and give us also good appetite. So everything we shall consume today will give us good health. And so Father, bless all the food we shall eat today. Bless all the drink we shall drink today. Bless all that we shall chew and, and swallow. So because they come from you. And we start to do what is visible or spirit. And so Father, we want to be to be Father, bless this family. They are going to be to you. Because I know that the Father, who was also buried here, is our life in Jesus in Christ in heaven. So, Father, we commit ourselves to you. That's right now, in the middle, and the close of the ceremony of true Christ and Lord. Amen. 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 Ah, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 I have just over do it. I just have holiday there. Look at him, I have been there. 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 I have an agony. If I know all, I'm off for dying. I get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. 
Which one?
which are honest as I doubt. We all are saying that are welcome to that. Not grumbling about your merit. We all are accepted to merit. And even as someone is facing a challenge, in our political structure today, we don't have it. Why? It is not the, uh, overall the fault of those in the political arena. It is our fault. The fault is us. Because you don't go to the field without presenting your best face to them. I said, I have not done that. And when people like you will come out, our first level, it is not my annual waiter, it is how many goals do you score? So if I'm now young, I have to occupy, you know, try to fill that gap. It is time for us to have a meeting among ourselves. Not all of us will be in our I've been in academic all my life. I'm not a first time writer. But I believe that people like you should occupy the other aspect of that as a So that there's a good man. And then the one that's trembling to that phone and so that's arranged. So that as a grand faculty, they start feeling it. So that any time up on the other I'm as a cousin one. You should be there. I get any that. And remember, as a people occupied what? The leadership position in those days. Your celebrities, your onions, who were in the leadership position. But today, where are we? Special advisors, special advisors. I think we should come back, go back to the drawing board, re strategize, and bring us about in the forefront. Do you think I want to congratulations once again? You are my brother. If I can play any role, not in the political arena, <laughs> no, in anything, in the social arena, in the social arena, be assured that I will be there. And I will say congratulations once more. That was it. Let's go to our house and get our Getting us or making us of these babies. And of course, they are the, our dozer. The essence is that we should be ambassadors anywhere we are, representing the interests of the Grand Majesty and the interests of us. Even, even uh, in our various villages office and, and our neighbors in Nassau. Some of us cannot be in the village. I have to do with confrontation with the palace of the Royal Majesty of the And I know the village there. You cannot, the person cannot make any move to ensure that, that pro those problems are sorted out. The person will not touch a person, social injury, will not be regarded as an ambassador of the Grand Majesty the Council. Now that we have annual injury, communal injury, of course, in less than 24 hours from now, based in London with an Odosia, we expect that there are some problems in London, we know. The problem between the ADU and ADA in London, it has lasted for many years. The homeowners, the others, the, the, the ECJs are on one side, believing that they are still ADA. The ADU are functioning on one side. Now that yourself and your wife are in London, the driver just will expect, expect that you look into it, try to bring the solution, a solution, a solution to the problem that will face out that this is so that the two units or the two factions will be as members of our community. That's the essence of being an ambassador of the Asaba people. So all of us here, uh, many many of us here have uh, performed such roles. No more in no more ago, in no more in no more is it. At this point in time, 
recognize the role that uh, Leroy Josiah, Nobile Campus of Asaba, has played in trying to resolve the issue. That's what we have regardless of what we are doing. That is, that is the most important. On this note, on this note, I want to especially thank our host today. That we are here, we are, we are already running short of time, but we make, we make it up. We we'll make it up, and uh, permit me therefore to kindly request. Uh, I would be a Jodiak in less than 25 hours to join the Jodiak so that they can get, they can sit to her more on what, what and what she should do and what she shouldn't do. You do a Jodiak, you can have my portal or no, a Jodiak, you can have my portal or no, you can have my portal or no, you can have my portal or no. Thank you very much for being here. We shall be at the palace of His Royal Majesty the Hashem of Asaba not later than 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. The ceremony must kick off at 11 a.m. on that day. Please let us be at the palace at 10 not later than 10.30 a.m. or earlier than that. I also advise our chief folks today that we should endeavor to be at the palace not later than 10 30 we want this ceremony to start up at 11. Uh, but let me also remind them that by 8 a.m. they should go to the palace and see his royal majesty and royal majesty and thank them for the honor they are pursuing, they are pursuing on them at 8 a.m. Go to work very proof work. On this stage, I want to especially welcome Chief Chukwumukulu, the Alanza. Alanza, we are aware that you will have no gate. We want to welcome you before we depart. I want to thank all the residents here and all of the Udoziakos. I want to especially invite Isaman Yofasa, Chief Barrister Chuck Ndukyozo, to give a vote of thanks to our host today. Just a few words to express our gratitude a global person is an international man and it brings with it all the sense of dignity and humility. Or well, is a very accomplished Nigerian, accomplished Salaman. So it's interesting that a much younger man and a much slower person is ahead of him. It's just the, the way of nature. We've had a very lovely time here. We've entertained us very well. Rosiaku also comes highly recommended. <laughs> I've known her also in some other ways. 
And I also know her pedigree. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some of you who might not know her, apart from coming from a very strong pedigree, Rendron, she's also one of the greatest and biggest art collectors, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. If you want to know anything about art, she's an, she's an authority. So she comes to Asaba with so much to offer. So we say to both of you, it's a pleasure, it's an honor to have you as part and parcel of Olin Of course, there's still one day to go. So for today, your Olin is designate. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll know what we have to call you. Yeah. So on behalf of Olin Group, all of you being the youngest Olin here, in age, in age, yes. I have to offer our congrats to you yeah, and our expectation that it will go very well tomorrow. Yeah. That was the name.
Chiefs of the Palace and personalities of Nigerian that served and still serving. The man with the class, a former spokesperson of Abubakar Tiku, next to the United States. And now
Now, the colonel of the broken pieces of the chair, my home. No, 
Amado. Tá bom, é? Amado. Já chorou? Já chorou? Eles eram aí, não? Eles eram aí, não? Não, não, não. 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 Olha o que eu vou fazer. Eu vou fazer 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 o que eu vou fazer. Mas não me sei a mona agora, papu. Ah, mona, na dia outro a sair agora, papu. Mas a gente não ia ser na vago. A polícia já tem permissão. A safra. Ali só quem vem exame é eighty percent. Agora, mano, até o dia de hoje a se não lhe foi o exame, o povo repete. Mas a gente não ganha eighty percent, não mano. Só na vago, o permissão, o permissão from the drone. May I present Obuichi uh, Professor Victor with your kind permission. Thank you, sir. and St. Thomas's Primary School in him. He went on to government college early before the Civil War. And then during the war, he finished his secondary education at St. Anthony's College in Lugu. The way she was at the top of his class throughout his secondary education and was well known as the best student in mathematics. Indeed, he describes mathematics as his first law. In Amago, we know that quite often, first laws do not last long. Whether by choice or by twist of circumstances, people will often let go of their first law. In this case, it was by choice. Obeshi Victor chose to follow in the footsteps of his uncle. 
and decided to study medicine against his first law of mathematics. He attended pre-clinical school at Amadi Bello University, 1972-74, and clinical school at the University of Benin, graduating as a doctor in 1977. He then proceeded to University College Hospital Ibarra, where he was a postgraduate resident doctor until he left for the United Kingdom in 1980 to further his training at the Royal College of Surgeons of England. Following high year surgical training in London, he became a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons, FRCS, in general surgery in 1984. Subsequently, he underwent subspecialty training in urological surgery. Permit me now to explain, for the benefit of those who are not as privileged as you and I on these matters, that urological surgery is a surgical specialty that focuses on the urinary tract, that is, that part of the human anatomy that has to do with passing urine. The act of passing urine is colloquially referred to as number one, and it is one of those twists of faith that Victor, who always emerged as number one in school examinations, chose to specialize in the treatment of problems of men and women that we commonly refer to as number one. Lukwesi has a fellowship in urological surgery from the Royal College of Surgeons. He also passed the European Board of Urology examination, achieving the highest score among 240 surgeons across Europe. He was quickly spotted as a distinguished academic and he developed research interest in prostate cancer and bladder cancer. He rose to the position of senior urological sur uh, consultant surgeon in Northwest London Group of Hospitals. He also held fellowship positions at various times at the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, Baylor College of Medicine, Houston, Texas, and Stanford University Medical School. He was an examiner in urology at the FRCS program at St. Catherine's College, Oxford University, from 2003 to 2010. He was appointed a professor in urological surgery in the United Arab Emirates in 2012 and returned to the UK in 2017 as a professor in urological surgery. Beyond medical and surgical practice, he has business interest in Nigeria and is chairman of the telecommunications company Zetel. Witnessing the harrowing days of the civil war in 1967, being conversant with the atrocities committed, and losing close relatives at the time, the young Victor Izebu fell in love with Asaba. Unlike his first love, however, this love has blossomed. He has over the years maintained keen interest in the progress of Asaba. He's a member of the Asaba Monument Memorial Group, donating money to the group as part of his philanthropy. His contributions to the well-being of his extended family in Ogogo during the COVID-19 pandemic are well recognized. Besides these philanthropic activities, he has various scholarship programs for indigent Nigerian students. Between 2014 and 2015, he flew the flag for our community as an aspirant for the governorship position in Delta State, becoming the second of only four persons from this historic town after the days of the revered Oji by Dennis Osadebe, who have courageously put themselves forward for leadership at sub-national level. In Amarago, people who love mathematics tend to score high on measures of conscientiousness. They are methodological, methodical, organized, investigative. Professor Vincent Victor Izebu epitomizes these elements. The young Victor Izebu excelled in sports, was a member of the school athletics team and captain of the cricket team. Again, high performing athletes commonly manifest traits such as self-confidence, self-discipline, enterprise, 
and leadership. Cricket is universally called a gentleman's game. And this is because the English aristocrats decreed that it be played in a gentlemanly manner, with no cheating, temper tantrums, or other unsportsmanlike conduct. <laughs> to have been elevated to the captaincy of his school's cricket team, Victor Izegu must have embodied these qualities of both gentlemanly conduct and leadership. Your Royal Majesty, these attributes of the mathematics loving Victor Izegu, the sportsmanly Ogweshi Victor, the high flying academic professor Victor Izegu, and the Asaba centric Ogweshi Victor, these are all attributes that define the quintessential Ulinzele. Above all, there are attributes that Asaba needs in abundance in the quest to recapture the glory of our town's halcyon days. Your Royal Majesty, you have consistently acknowledged and indeed championed the contribution of spouses. Your Royal Majesty, you have consistently acknowledged and indeed championed the contributions of spouses the accomplishments and contentment of their partners. And so, while elaborating on the Gwechi Victor's achievements, I must also acknowledge those of Mrs. Izegu. Permit me to quote the wise man Socrates, who said, by all means marry. If you get a good wife, you become happy. Gwechi Victor Izegu exudes happiness rather than philosophy. As someone observed earlier, he's having a designer smile. And the good wife underpinning this happiness is Mrs. Juliana Izegu, who hails from the illustrious Edeo family in Delta State. She is the daughter of the late Chief James Lugoko Edewo, the Oloku of Eku and Obarisi of Rogoland and the late Princess Chief Barista Ndidi Edewo, who was Oliwe of Ubulupu Kingdom and a Princess of Ogwashupu Kingdom. She was born in Wari and attended Our Ladies Convent Primary and Secondary School and Alexandra College in Dublin, Ireland. She obtained her BSc in Management and Administration and MBA in International Finance at Indiana University Bloomington, Indiana, and at Delphi University in New York. She worked at NNPC for six years as head of joint ventures, crude oil and marketing, before venturing out to start her own businesses in real estate, furniture manufacturing, trading, hospitality, and interior architecture. The lofty heights reached by Victor in surgery are matched by Juliana in business. She is one of the pioneers of internal interior decoration in Nigeria. Her firm, Showcase Interiors, is one of Nigeria's finest interior design firms, specializing in bespoke furniture and furnishing. The quality of the company's clients attests to its commitment to high standards. Your Royal Majesty, this is a woman who has built and sustained a multi-billion naira manufacturing enterprise, an achievement that distinguishes her as a woman of high caliber. And Akuba Eva. The Royal Majesty, it is this beautiful, graceful woman of high caliber and her soulmates and heart from this fine gentleman this accomplished surgeon, this humble philanthropist, this embodiment of precepts and values that Asaba holds there, this illustrious son of Ahaba, that I present to you in Amago for induction into the distinguished role of Olinzele, casual holder. In Amago, behold the Gweshi professor and Mrs. Victor Izebu.
are you not impressed with what um, Obili Gogo has read? Are you, are you not impressed? Yeah, put your hands together. Go down, sir. Are you both like Patoa? Bobby, what do you want to buy? Okay. Thank you very much, Obia. I am going to start with the Grandma just is starting with Professor Victor is with himself. Um, I you to go to the I'm to go to Okay. Please, you can, that's good, but thank you very much. The paraphernalia of Obuishi, of one Obuishi, is being removed. It's going to become double Obuishi, of Obuishi now. That's how it will be elevated. First, the cap and the eagle feather. Now the arm beats. It's a gradual process. We'll surely get there. That's an elevation. The hierarchy of our Sabbath tradition. And most importantly, starting from the palace of the Royal Majesty. Is only one that can compare this to any person. By the power of sending him a Delta State Chieftaincy Law Affair, well gazetted as a first class traditional ruler. Put your hands down. I know some of you are far from where it's happening, but you can see the Obuishi Wabo. We have a few things to say. Obuishi Wabo. Yes. That is the ceremony with the hand beats, the wrist beats, three on each of the wrists. Based on the powers conferred upon me by the Asaba community and the government of the United States, I hereby confer upon you the title of Ojiago. Ojiago. The title of Ojiago of Asaba has been conferred on our brother, friend. Ojiako of Asawa. We may quickly, let me quickly recall the, that the last holder of this title was Chief L. N. Adaba of Umodasi. The wrist piece, Royal Majesty is going to put on her the wrist piece on both wrists, but this time two on each wrist. Two on each wrist instead of three. Then, of course, the left piece. 
two of them. They have been decorated with the two neck beats equally. As His Royal Majesty earlier announced, the latest chief in town, now Chief Professor. Is Victor Zemu, the Ojiaku of Asaba, and the greeting is Oba, Ojiaku, Oba, and his available wife is the Ojiaku of Asaba. Both of our friends, to our new, to our newest uh, Ojiaku of Asaba, the Ojiaku. I, out of our agents. I, Obuishi, Victor, Amenchi, Edozie, Izegu, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Asaba, Asaba in council, and Asaba community, that I will preserve, protect, and defend the custom and tradition of Asaba. So help me God. Out of office, I, Obuishi, Victor, Amechi, Edozie, Izeng, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Asaba, Asaba in council and Asaba community. That as at the that as the Ojia Kwapasaba, I will perform my function honestly to the best ability, faithfully in accordance with the laid down custom and tradition of Asaba, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of Asaba that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles contained in the guidelines approved by the Asaba in Council in respect, so help me God. In fact, in respect of the office of Oja Asaba, so help me God. I, Julia Adam, HR, is a group to solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Asaga, Asaga in Council and Asaga community, Asaga community that I will preserve, protect and defend the custom and tradition of Asaba. So help me God. I, oath of, oath of office, I, Juliana Ejaru Izebu do solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Asagba, Asagba in council and Asaba community as the Odoziaku of Asaba. I will perform my function honestly to the best of the best ability, faithful in accordance with the late down custom and tradition of Asada, and always in, in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of Asada, that I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives and directive principles contained in the guidelines approved by the Asaba in Council in respect, 
of the office of her father. So help me God. Thank you. Put your hands together. Otumba is highly articulated. But the presence of Royal Majesty, they will now break color and pray for them. And of course, they will take a seat of anti COVID. Sip of it. According to the tradition of our people, the custom tradition and custom of our people. He said, 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 you know, go on a book. You take a seat. <laughs> the daughter of Great Obarisi of Urubola. Now, the wonderful daughter of Ahaba. Now, special prayer for Ojiako, presentation of certificates. Put your hands together. The certificate, certificate has been presented to Ojiako. And now to the wife. Yes, show, show them. After we come to Gas No, uh, uh, no so. uh, and so it will be. Thank you. And now presentation. Uh, a certificate will be presented to Odosiako. I got it to the other states, Tilton Z, Lenormand Laws. We would say that this all over Warrior! 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 Warrior!
Yes, we're not forgetting Doctor uh, Captain Olusino Akinchete, Obaba, Obaba the Banje, and for the Banja, we keep Joko Obaba Banje. Eh, are we careful? Doctor Mata Dungu, Odo Onyama. Put your hands together, woman of substance, a great lady, the custodian of Anyoma culture, highly educated. Yes, the only lady that can walk into the palace of Opa Benin and they will give her a seat. Anywhere she goes, she represents, she represents Anyoma and womanhood. You know, meticulous lady, highly educated, articulate.
Jeremy showed me has, has risen from his seat. He has, he's a appreciative of the music that's been played here. He's a roots man. Thank you. 